Hey everyone, Jason here from Rhino Tough Tanks. In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick that will save time and effort in the event that you have to add or switch out a valve on a tank that's in the field. So let's say you decide to add a side mount pump to an existing gravity feed system. So normally you'd have to drain the tank, add a ball valve, and then pump the fluid back into the original tank. Now depending on what you have for a separate holding tank or transfer pump, that could be an all day project. Not to mention, you could be potentially introducing contamination into your fluid. So like most projects, the proper preparation will make the actual job much easier to execute. So be sure to wear your personal protective equipment. So for this project, the tools that you will need include an adjustable wrench, a catch basin, a shop vac with an adapter for a two inch opening, a one inch ball valve, and thread sealant. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare the floor or your work area with a catch basin to help make sure any potential cleanup is easier. The next step is to connect the hose adapter to the two inch fill opening. This connection doesn't have to be specifically airtight. The next step is to prepare the threads of your new valve. In this case, I'm gonna use extra precaution and coat the threads with both thread tape and a soft sealant. Be sure to turn the valve to the off position before you install. Now that the prep work is completed, I'll walk you through the next couple of steps. So we'll attach the hose to the adapter and then turn on the vacuum. And then in a few seconds, it creates a negative pressure inside of the tank. At that point, using the adjustable wrench, we'll begin removing the bottom plug. As you remove it, you'll actually start seeing air entering into the tanks in the form of air bubbles. Once that's happened, You'll finish by hand loosening the valve and in a expeditious movement, remove the plug and insert the valve into the bottom opening. Turning it in a clockwise position, sealing any additional fluid from escaping. And at this point, I'll take the adjustable wrench and finish tightening the valve into its finished position. It's as easy as that. For more information, check out our website, www.rhinotoughtanks.com.